Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we glorify your name. We acknowledge your name, God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give all the glory, God. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome our life. We welcome you in our life. We welcome you in our family. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Take over. Take over. Control our life. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you. My God and my Father, I want to thank you this morning. I thank you and I glorify for your name. I give you all the glory my father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord we honor you. We honor you Lord. We honor you Jesus. Oh, yes Lord we thank you father. We acknowledge your name. We lift up your name to thank you and honor you God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is based on spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Bear with me a little bit. These things, I have to fix it. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, this is this one is better now. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome you once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you. I want to talk to you. The subject called The Holy Spirit will teach you all things but two. Should it, but, yeah, we did it last, last night, uh, evening, part one. But this is part two. If you don't see part, this is part two of the, of the topic we are going to talk, I'm going to talk to you. So, welcome once again. I'm going to read from the book of John 14, 25 to 26. That's where we left yesterday. I'm going to repeat that scripture for those who did, were not there or you, you did the replay. But for the sake of other people, I'm going to repeat it and then we can continue from there. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. All things. That's what the Bible says. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Have you sit down? With the Holy Spirit to ask the Holy Spirit to teach you. Have you take time? Take time, sit down. Like the way you sit down and watch TV hours and hours. Or wherever you laugh. Have you sit down with the Holy Spirit? You have two chairs, one for the Holy Spirit and one for you. You sit down together and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you. Have you thought? Like that? Have you asked the Holy Spirit things you don't know? Because the Bible says He will teach you all, all things. Let's look in the book of, of, of John 14, verse 25 to 26. These things I have spoken to you while He are binding, binding with you. Jesus was talking to His disciples. He's telling them, these things that I'm talking to you while I am with you. In another way, I am with you while I am with you. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father would send in my name, would teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. So the, the, the Jesus is telling his disciples, I am telling you now, I'm talking to you, that the helper will come, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send to you. He will teach you all things and bring to you to all things that I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling you. He will bring the remembrance. If you forgot, the Holy Spirit will remind you. 
the Holy Spirit will remind you everything. He was telling his disciples, although I am teaching you many things, when I was in the college, we were learning, we are, we are learning so many things. And then I was wondering, how can I observe all of them? How can I, how, we, like you have to memorize this, the Bible, of course. You have to write, memorize, you memorize and write them. So all this, I was saying, how can I remember all this? How am I going to do? But the Holy Spirit will bring it to you. Will remember, will remind you everything. That's why you need to read your Bible, all of your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Just read it, read it, and don't worry about it. The Holy Spirit will bring it back, everything you've been reading. That's why the Bible says that He will bring, he will bring remembrance, all things that, you, that He has said. So the Holy Spirit, he will, he will make you to remember. Even if you have forgotten, if you give him permission, he will bring it to you. He will make you to remember everything. So that's, that's, that's why everyone as a child of God, you have to make a, your Holy Spirit, Spirit your friend. And I was talking with another lady. She was telling me, my television, my TV is my best friend. That's what she was telling me. If I miss my TV, I don't know what I will do. My TV is my best friend because I will talk with my TV. I will stay in my TV hours without problem. Then I ask her, how, how long, how many hours do you spend in the Bible? Or how many minutes do you even pray? He said, you know, God knows. And I just read a few minutes and then I go back to my TV. I said, your TV, yes. I'm, I want to tell you that if there is witches in the world, the TV is the, the, the TV is a, a, a witch number one because he has witched many, 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 and the things that you get from the TV is not spiritual. Some yes, but some much, about ninety five percent is not. And the more you spend time there to watch, the more you receive, you get some stuff. The TV gives you things they don't you don't watch them free. They will fill you. They will. They will fill you with their stuff. So if you spend time to read the spirit, to spend time with the Holy Spirit, to talk with the the, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will feed you and feed you the heavenly things. In fact, the Holy Spirit will take you and even take you to heaven and visit you, and you feast with Him in heaven. Because we see how the Holy Spirit took Philip. It, the Holy Spirit can even drive you. I've seen the Holy Spirit driving. Believe me or not, it can do you wonders and miracles and signs. So that's why you need to sit down and talk to your, the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, Mr. Holy Spirit, come, let's talk. I want to know this. Yeah? I want to know this pastor who is teaching like this. Because the Bible tells us, test the Spirit. This is the hand time. This is the last day, days whereby the false teachers, false prophets have raised than before. They are deceiving so many. Many are deceived. Even the even the elected one will be deceived the last minute. But if you have the Holy Spirit, nobody will deceive you. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You don't have to move with the crowd. It is better. The Bible says, because Jesus said, not many who calls me Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. You have to know your pastor, is this taking you to heaven or is driving you to hellfire? You should ask the Holy Spirit, who is this person I'm following? Is he a God? Is it, is it, a, is it, is it a godly person? Or is it from, it's from the child of the devil? We have so many wizards and witches, pastors, prophets, but the Holy Spirit will teach you he will teach you and tell you everything about this church, about this person. He will tell you the truth. Look at uh, look at John 16, verse 13. The Bible says, but when the when he, when he, 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 he's a person, when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will teach you what he is yet to come. He will teach you the spirit of the truth. 
It doesn't lie. It doesn't lie the spirit of the truth. He will reveal everything to you. And he, he will not speak on his own. You see, he will not speak on his own. You know, the devil uses his own native language to speak. He's a liar and the father of the lies. But the Holy Spirit does not speak on his own. He speaks things he hears from heaven. The heavens, when the heaven speaks, when Jesus speaks, when the Lord speaks, he brings to you and it tells you this is what is going on. This is what happened. He will speak only what he hears and he will t tell you what he yet to come. He will tell you, he only speaks what he hears from heaven. The Holy Spirit will speak what he hears from heaven. And he will tell you what is yet to come. The Holy Spirit will tell you what, to, what, what is going to come. That's why God is preparing us. That's why the Bible says nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Be, 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 with, without God referring to his prophet, his people. God will never do anything without referring to his people. So, things to come, he will reveal it to you and, it, and let you do what you, if, if you can take care of, or a warning or whatever you can do with it. He will tell you nothing. That's why you have to watch your dreams. That's why you need to watch your dreams. That God will speak to you through dreams, through voice, through the word of God, through the pastor, through the prophets. The Lord will never let you anything happen to you without him giving you a warning. I was given a, a, a vision, I was given a dream about one of our members. So, I didn't tell him, but I saw this person is on, on seriously, seriously attack. I had to go 21 days to intercede for the person. I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him what was going to happen to him. I prayed and I interceded. I prayed. I believed the mass of God. I prayed for the person. I said, God have mass on him. And the, the devil planned so bad, he wanted to take his life. But God, who always reveals things, I, he had to reveal to me and I had to intercede with the, for the person. So God can never, never, never do anything without referring and without referring to his people, his prophets. When I was in Africa, I had this vision. The war, the, the, the bomb and everything, what, which was going to happen. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. And then I forgot. After some years, I forgot. I didn't remember. But when it happened, it's when it came to me, because the Bible says it will remember, it will make you to remember. But when it happened, I was there. And I was not hurt. When this bomb, about 3,000 or 4,000 died. So I was among them, but nothing happened to me. People were crying and mourning about me. But when I called back home, I said, I'm alive, I'm here. And then they were lived. People came for funeral. People were crying because I was right there where the bomb was. So God is God. And they always feel things before it happened. And the spirit, the spirit of God, is there. It's our teacher. He teaches us. In fact, if you look at the book of First John two, verse twenty-seven, the book of the book of First John two, verse twenty-seven. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We thank you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. The book of First John, two verse twenty-seven, the Bible says, "Thank you, my sister." The Bible says, "As for you, the anointing you received from Him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. Some things you don't need anyone to teach you, because the Holy Spirit will teach you things." Some things, even us, we don't understand them. It is the help of the Holy Spirit that will teach us. It is the help of the Holy Spirit will reveal to us, give us revelation, give us understanding of what we speak. The, the, the Bible says, as for you, 
the anointing you receive from him remains in you and you do not need anyone to teach you but as his anointing teaches you about all things as the anointing is really not con not counterfeit just as it has taught you reminding you you see it will remind the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the spirit of god it will teach you it is your help your comfort that will teach you things things you don't know talk to your talk to the whole spirit of, of, of god the bible said he he is a person when the spirit of god moves when you the spirit of god is in the presence no demon will rest up and survive because the Holy Spirit will kill him. The Spirit of God, when it is in your life, you will never be the same again. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit goes together with the deliverance. You remember Jesus in the book of Luke 4. He said, the, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Let's look at that scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The book of, of Luke 4, verse 18. The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the broken, the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captivities, and to recover of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that they are pressed. You see, Jesus himself, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon you to preach. When the spirit of the Lord is upon you, it can enable you to do everything of God. That's why the devil understood that many, many people, they get the power from him. So he said, okay, I will give you power, but you will serve me. And I want a lot of crowd. I want many people, as many as you can. And then the devil, the, the person said, yes, give me the power. Then the, the power, the, the, the pastors, the false prophets, they get their power from the, 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 the queen of the coast. The woman, the queen of the coast, they get their powers from Sakek. They get from powers from the devil. And here is the spirit who will give you power. The spirit of God will teach you, will anoint you. Once you get this anointing, you, the Bible says it will remain on you. It doesn't need you to any teacher to, to lie on you. Let the teacher teach you, but ask the Holy Spirit. Is it is it is it teacher? Yes, thank you so much, my God. Thank you so much, my friend. So, is teach, teacher, is he a child of God or a child of the devil? Confirm with the Holy Spirit. Ask the Spirit. Talk to him. He will respond to you. Because he will teach you all things. Look at this. Jesus said, I, am, I will tell you that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Is the Spirit of the Lord upon you? Jesus said, I am going. I am with you and I'm telling you this. When the Spirit of the Lord will come to you, will teach you everything. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible is, is open and it is here for us. The Word of God is, belongs to us. The Holy Spirit is for us. It's for us and our children, children. So we have to get this Holy Spirit to teach us and sit and you sit with with the Holy Spirit to talk with him hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Lord I am asking you have you sit down with the Holy Spirit hours even one hour to talk with the Holy Spirit you know Ben Hin he, he has, a, a, he has a, a, a topic or a subject or the book called good morning Holy Spirit Ben Hin could spend hours hours talking with the Holy Spirit 
if you know, if you learn how to talk with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, He can talk to you. You respond like the way I communicate. You have to listen what the Spirit is telling you. And the Spirit of God does not lie. He doesn't say things by Himself. He's, he tells you things that He hears from the heaven. When heaven speaks, what does heaven speak about you? What does heaven talk about you? You ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit tell me, what does heaven talk about me? Sometimes, because people are so ignorant, they don't want to learn, they don't want to read the Bible, they don't want to know what is in the Bible. So the devil feeds them with their stuff, because it's the father of all lies. He's a liar and he's having his own resources. Let's look in the book of John. John 8 verse 44. John 8 verse 44. Hallelujah. I want to show you how the child of the devil deceives people. The Bible says, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, you are so good. The Bible says, Ye are of your father, the devil, and the last of your father, he would do, he was a murderer from the beginning, and a bond not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a, a, a lie, he speaks on his own, for he is a liar and the father of, of, of it. You know the devil speaks, the devil, he, he speaks, he speaks it a lie. He, he speaks it of his own lies. The devil uses his own nothing, his own lies. He's using his own language, his own stuff to deceive people. But the Holy Spirit, he doesn't use his own, his own words. He doesn't use his own. He uses, he, he, he uses what he has. That is the difference between the, the spirit of the devil and the spirit of God. The spirit of the devil uses his own. He twisted the scripture, lying, twisting. And confronting you, put fears on you. He can say, The Holy Spirit is telling me, 1000 right now, right now, right. He forces you and he makes you to scare and fear. And then you run to your, your, your visa card and run and, and punch that 1000 because the devil the, the, he has posed you and scare you without check, checking with the Holy Spirit. Check with the Holy Spirit before you do anything, before you rush. Because the Bible says, even the chosen one will be deceived the last days. Be careful, this is the last days. I am bringing this word, I am bringing this message to you, for you, so that you cannot be deceived. You will never be deceived if you listen this message. People have been deceived. They are like sheep without shepherds. They have been wandering from place to place. They have been running. When they hear this, they run there. Because they have not confirmed they have not con they have not asked the Holy Spirit, who is this person? Yeah? They run for multitude. Multitude, multitude, 10,000, 8,000, 15,000. They run to start such a multitude. And you don't know what, what is that person is. Check with the spirit of that person. You will never be deceived. It is time, the time is up that you will never be deceived, children of God. The heaven is a narrow road. So you have to fight for your own salvation. You don't go with the crowd. I am preparing you for heaven, not to hellfire. And I tell you, as you continue uh, following me, you run a lot. The Holy Spirit will teach you and open for you things you don't know. You need to, to make the Holy Spirit your friend. Because the He will protect you. It's your comfort and your help. The Holy Spirit will be there for you when you are in trouble. And it will reveal things before the trouble comes. Now, when we look at the book of, uh, of, of, the book of uh, Acts 1, the book of Acts 1, 
verse 4, the Bible says, On one occasion, while he was sit eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. So Jesus, when he was eating with his disciples, he told them, Don't leave Jerusalem. That's why, don't leave your house before you confirm, before you confirm what type of this person he is. Yes. Don't, don't be wondering, don't be rash with things that you don't know. You have to confirm when you are sleeping, pray and ask the Holy Spirit. Uh, Holy Spirit, I am going tomorrow to this meeting. I am following this person. Who is this person I'm following? Is he the child of God or the child of the devil? Jesus told his disciples, don't go anywhere. Wait until you, you, the Spirit of God followed come to you. Wait until the Spirit of God talk to you. Because people, they follow the crowd, when they hear, they, they, they just go, 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 go. And they receive the evil spirit, they get wrong spirit. They are deceived. The Bible talk tell us very well. The last days, many will be deceived. Many will be offended. Because of this spirit is in the world now. And the enemy is using the, them. So you, you cannot be deceived when you follow this instruction. I'm telling you, read these scriptures I've given to you. Feel these videos. I'm going to put it in the YouTube. You will find it in our, our website. www dot overcomers dh ministries dot blogspot dot ca this message is going to help you and deliver you it is a very powerful message i will continue i'm going to continue tomorrow until sunday you will never be the same your eyes is going to be open i'm going to prophesy to you and i'm going to tell you what god is saying yes let the Holy Spirit speak to you. If you think this ministry is blessing you, so it. So to our ministry. If you feel the Holy Spirit is telling you this is the right place where you are supposed to, to show, and ask the Holy Spirit, how much am I going to show? And the Holy Spirit will tell you because he will never force you or ask you amount of money to give. The Holy Spirit will tell you if it is ten dollars, if it is one hundred, if it is a thousand. That's what the Holy Spirit will tell you. Not the, the, the Spirit that will tell you that give me, give one thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, five thousand. The Spirit of God does not talk like that. People are deceived so much. I'm telling you the truth. People are deceived. I like Joyce Meyer. Sometimes, because she tells people the truth and off. You will never hear Joyce Meyer t talking like that. She's a woman of God and she has been preaching many, many, many years. We, we, I believe in prosperity. Thank God for that. But you cannot force people using the spirit of, using uh, Jezebel spirit, using uh, the, the, the queen of the coast demons. And then you bring to people, you spells on people. When they, they, they spell on you, they, um, I will talk, I, I will come to teach about spells and, and the chants, about the witchcraft. You will understand how they spell on people. Now they control you like pepper. But when you have the spirit of the living God in you, no one will spell on you and it will not work. They, even if they spell and put spells on you, it's not going to work. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10, the Bible says, exalt. Okay. Uh, let's look first. The book of uh, second, the book of Acts 2, 33. The book of Acts 2, 33. Before I go to 1 Corinthians. Acts 2, verse 23. Acts 2, verse 33. The book of Acts 2, yes, verse, 20, verse 33. The Bible says, Exalt to the light hand of God. He has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and he has poured out 
what you now see and hear. So the spirit of the Lord has, has come. He promised his disciples that the spirit of God will come. The Holy Ghost with the fire. That the spirit of God has been boiled. And that is what you hear and that's what you see. The spirit of the living God. The, the spirit of the truth. The spirit that does not lie. He doesn't talk his own. He doesn't say his own. What he hears is what he says. And it will help you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Exalted to the right hand of God. He has received from the Father. He has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit. And he has poured out what now see and hear. The Holy Spirit that you hear, the Holy Spirit that you have seen, it will never, never say things by his own. The devil is the one who says things by his own. He said the devil is a liar. He lies. He uses his own, his own stuff. But the Holy Spirit, he uses the things from heaven. That's the difference. Test the Spirit and know. The Bible is telling us so many times, test the Spirit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Test the Spirit. Let's look in the book of 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10. The Bible says, these are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. God reveals things. Yes, my sister, thank you. God reveals things by His Spirit. We don't do things by ourselves. The Spirit of God reveals things. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Spirit of God searches deep things. Listen, people of God. These are the things of, of God has revealed to us by the Spirit. The, the Spirit searches all things, even deep things of God. The Spirit searches all things, deep things in heaven. He searches, he's a searcher. If you want to do a search, ask the Holy Spirit to search you. The Holy Spirit do a very good research. He searches things in heaven and brings it to you. He said, child of God, this is what is happening in heaven. Yeah? You do things by the Spirit of God. You don't do things to please your pastor. You don't do things to please your friends. You do things by his spirit. You do things that will please heavens. Some people, they do things because they want to please their pastors or their prophets. Lie. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth that the Holy Spirit is a searcher. It is such as all things, even deep things of God, because it's, it's the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, oh no, I will talk it tomorrow. Let me save it for tomorrow. Tomorrow, come and invite your friends. I have to solve here. Tomorrow, I'm going to reveal to you more stuff. We are, I'm going to tell you how the Spirit of God, God works. And by the day we finish on Sunday, everybody will be swimming and flowing with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit teach us and control our life. Remember, go and sit down and start reading and search by yourself. Sit down with the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit teach you and talk to you. Because He searches all things, even deep things of God. It will reveal to you. If you need the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, God heals. I want to tell you that God is good. That He has given, He has not left us, He has not left us ovens. Maybe you are you are you, are, you feel like lonely. You feel you are so lonely. Invite the Holy Spirit. He is your, your comfort, He's your help. 
Yes, thank you so much. Yes, my sister, my brother, take time. The Holy Spirit, is between now and, and Sunday, the Spirit of the Lord is going to open some of you, new revelation. You will be speaking in a different language, even reasoning, even walking, you will change. Because the Spirit of the Lord is here to teach you, even to fashion you. It, the way you wear, the way you talk, the Spirit of the Lord will show you. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I have to stop here. And tomorrow, invite, come. Eight o'clock, we, we, I'm on. I might come sometimes in a, in a different topic, uh, evening around five o'clock. No, today we have uh, our deliverance, deliverance prayer. Today is Friday. So you might not see me, but tomorrow morning, I am on. Tomorrow morning, I will be on and teaching about the Holy Spirit. So thank you so much. Yes, my, my dear sister, uh, Patricia, thank you so much. Your life will not be the same again. Yes, go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca And so, what the Holy Spirit, test the Holy Spirit. Test the Holy Spirit. That's what the Bible says. If, if, if the Holy Spirit tells you, so what amount, test it and you will be witness. You will have a testimony. If you are sowing, you are sowing with your whole heart. Nobody is putting pressure on you. Because the devil, when the, the devil has made the Christian, when you mention money, they become mad. They become, they, they, just, they get off. But when the devil is mentioning the money, they say, yeah, 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 yeah. But when a genie through a Christian mentioning money, they start fighting them. The devil is a liar. The father of all lies. That is what John, John 8 verse 44 says. Therefore, I am going to stop here. May God bless you so much. Think about this. Go and sit together with the Holy Spirit. And talk with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will help you. Will show you the way. And teach you even deep things. That is in heaven. It will reveal to you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I pray that God will help you. And set you free. Our website I've mentioned to you, my sister Deborah, pull it, pull our website and also the number that we have so, so that you can call that this number. Yes, overcomers, at, uh, overcomers dhm at gmail.com. That is our email and our, our phone number is 877 Two four one three. Pull it again, sister. That is the direct, the direct line. Nine zero five four eight seven seven one nine six. So when you call this number, you will get me. Eight seven seven two four one three four two zero extension one zero one. That is a free number. So you ca you can't miss me. You can solve this. Uh, Periscope to copy the number and those who are listening in YouTube or you stream you can the, the number the contact are under the need of the of the videos if you click overcome us you will see everything there you can copy the, 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 the contact is there or you can get our contact when you go to our website www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca all the contact are there. You can't miss. Or if you if you struggle to reason or to find me at this periscope, you can see Prophetess Christine Isigi. Write that name. It will come up. Everything it will come up. Yes, thank you very much. May God bless you so much. And see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. My Father and my God, I pray that God in the name of Jesus, let your people receive the Holy Spirit. The true the spirit of the truth, the spirit of the truth that will reveal to them everything that you have in heaven. Let the spirit of God fall upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This is your host, 
Leverant Dr. Christine Isigi saying bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. God bless you. And have a wonderful time, evening, uh, night. Here is morning. God bless you and have a wonderful time. Bye.